A new bill in Baltimore City Council aims to crack down on apartment buildings rife with issues like mold, mice, infestations, and more. And some of the renters actually spoke out today saying they are living in terrible conditions right now. WJZ is live at City Hall. And Dennis Blair joins us to explain how this all works. Dennis. Rick and Nikki, this bill, which is just being introduced tonight, would create a priority list of all apartment buildings with repeated violations and complaints. Now, this would get them ahead in line for more inspections and hopefully getting these issues fixed. For some that spoke out today, this is a matter of life or death. They won't help uh, fill holes. They won't fix the properties up. Joy Miles has been living in Temple Gardens for five years. It's been less than ideal. They're letting us live in mess, basically. I found two dead mice, and I know where they're coming from. And she's not alone. Her neighbors have had a hard time getting help, too, like Elaine Nichols. November the 26th, my apartment caught on fire from the stove. Where I had been re asked and recalling over and over again to get another stove. Haven't got it. Elaine's issues don't stop there. My apartment is confested with mice running like ants through my apartment and black bugs. Um, they've never done anything about it. To help people like Elaine and Joy, Baltimore City Councilman yeah. Zeke Cohen is introducing the Strengthening Renters Safety Act. As it is now, it would create a priority category for 20 plus unit apartment buildings with repeated issues like Elaine and Joy described. These buildings would be subject to two inspections a year until the problems are fixed. If there's no improvement, then the building could lose its rental license. That would also have to be disclosed, which isn't required in the city right now. This is not an anti landlord bill. This is an anti slumlord bill. The vast majority of property owners in Baltimore operate responsibly. They take care of their tenants and do not neglect their property. Elaine says she's had a number of health issues living in Temple Gardens. She just wants a safe place for her and her granddaughter to live. The doctor told me and my granddaughter both not to go back in that apartment and stay, and we're still in there right now as up to date. And I know some place in this world uh, got to be an apartment, a townhouse, somewhere that somebody could come and help me and get me a place for me and my granddaughter to move in. I did reach out to Temple Gardens, but I haven't heard back yet. Now, Councilman Z. Cohen, he understands the strain this could put on the city's housing department, but he hopes with more federal funding on the table, like ARPA money, that this coming budget season, more inspectors could be hired. Reporting live at Baltimore City Hall, I'm Dennis Valera for WJZ.